Beth London, Ontario's Kitty, formed in 1996. Introduce yourselves. Hello, I'm Mercedes. I'm Morgan. I'm Ivy. Now, since 1996, Kitty has helped break down the music barriers of female musicians pursuing the more aggressive side of metal uh, guttural take. Uh, what past specific female fronted bands or front women have inspired you in the past? See, this is hard. No, oh, yeah. I find that, so when like when we first started, I uh, like uh, vocally, I was not inspired. Like I didn't listen to a lot of female uh, fronted bands, and I mean maybe there really weren't that many to like be inspired by. I guess. Um, so like a lot of my re frame of reference was just like you know, men, and you know it's uh, always been striving to sound like a man that whole <laughs> for the for the rest of my days. Um, but there are a lot of really amazing uh, female metal bands now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. A lot of great fem female fronted metal. Um, you know, the the uh, industry has become a lot more accepting and whatnot. So, uh, but yeah, like shout out to all the women out there. Oh yeah, doing their thing. Thank you. Now, Kitty will forever be associated with the music history behind Ozfest. Uh, what's your favorite moment touring with Ozfest? I, I, if we're saying he's the <laughs> Pantera. Yeah, that's it. it. That's it. Just Pantera. One word. Those guys were wild. Um, yeah, you know what? Ozfest, it was a big, it was like big summer camp. It was like this, but like this day. festival, but every day for two months, if you could believe it. Um, it was, uh, yeah, it was like, it was wild. There was a lot of, a lot of drinking, a lot of fun. People were just, having a great time and uh made a lot of friends that were you know like i mean seeing people today you know? like long friends yeah i was gonna say i wasn't there but i definitely heard a lot of stories about underage drinking yeah and <laughs> <laughs> which i'm sure we've all not done yeah right <laughs> come on i have not done this <laughs> totally no it was just cool back in the day seeing you guys rise to the top starting with that being handpicked by sharon osborne i believe yeah, yeah. which is amazing in itself yeah. uh we're currently in a full-fledged new metal revival at the moment. Uh, what are your true thoughts on that whole 1990s scene kind of rekindling itself right now? And has Kitty fully embraced the new metal term? Um, well, I don't know. Like, personally, for Mercedes, you go, I feel like we have grown into it. I feel like that was something that we resisted a, for a long period of time. But I, I feel like now we're just like, yeah, you know what? Whatever you want to call us, that's great. We just like playing shows. The thing is, like, Kitty has so many different sounds, I think. And, like, yeah, Kitty could be new metal and, like, death metal and whatever. Like, you know, just hardcore metal. It just depends on the song. And, like, we write a lot of different kind of shit. And especially you guys who've been writing music for so many years. Like, mm. there are kind of a plethora of different styles going on there. Yeah, absolutely. And like Mercedes was saying, like, you know, for a while it was like new metal was kind of like a bad word. And, you know... We, uh, we, when we were first starting out, like we, we were definitely involved and lumped in with it, but we never really f saw ourselves as new metal. But I guess, you know, as time goes on, like we sort of learned to come to accept that it's like, you know what, it's okay. And, uh, you know, it, it definitely, the, the genre and the people that love the music helped to shape who we are and, you know, gave us this opportunity. And then here we are again, you know, with another opportunity, so. No complaints. Well said, well said. Now, your past cover of Pink Floyd's classic, The Wall Hit, uh, Run Like Hell, introduced many of your fans to the music of Pink Floyd. Now, the, the multi-genre sensation Poppy has just released a kick-ass cover of your, of your own track, Spit. Uh, overall, how do you feel about that cover and you know your general opinion on it? That is cool. I like it. I'm happy that, uh, you know, somebody decided that they wanted to cover one of our songs. I think it's awesome. They had a really cool take on it. Uh, I'm, you know, it just, it feels good. It makes me feel good inside. <laughs> yeah, I had a, when I, when I first watched the video, actually, I had a little, like, tear moment. Like, I was like, I know it sounds so cheesy, but it's like, you never think in your entire life that the song is, that you wrote when you were, like, 15 would be, like you know, covered by somebody, and I, like, had a little tear. I was like, oh, man, it's like, wow, like, I wrote that song. It was wild. Yeah, I think, like, as you said, uh, kind of how Kitty was, like, introducing people to, a, a, like, Pink Floyd, it's like, 
I see now all these Poppy fans that are discovering Kitty for the first time. And also I'm seeing Kitty fans that are discovering Poppy for the first time, so that's really cool. Yeah, we sort of cross-pollinated there. It's neat. Yeah. <laughs> we scratched Poppy's back and she scratched ours. <laughs> <laughs> there was some, like, uh, but, but, So do, like, an all-star tour, like Kitty, Poppy, Otep, Arch Enemy or something? I, I mean, yeah, I'd be down for that. Yeah, yeah. That'd be crazy. No. Yeah, totally. <laughs> A few more questions. Uh, you know, you guys haven't put out a record since 2011, I believe. Uh, when can fans expect another full Wink Kitty LP? Well, I think that, I mean, today we played a new song, so there's some hints right there. Um, new music. Yeah, so we don't have any, like, official dates or anything like that. I think next year will be a big year for us, and I think uh, possibly expect some releases by 2024. So, yeah, we'll see. And next year is the 25th anniversary of your spin LP. Uh, reflecting back on recording that classic album, why do you think it has, continues to stand the test of time among the music industry today? I, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that that record captured not only it it wasn't about the music necessarily. I think that record captured an attitude, and I think that that resonates with a lot of young people uh still to this day and i think that that has a, a good ha a large hand in why that that spit continues to kind of stand the test of time thoughts yeah it's like it's really raw it's really like there's not like you can tell that we were just a bunch of pissed off like young girls you know there's not a lot you know, like, some people are like, oh, you know, like, the structure and, like, you know, like, you know, I listen to music, you know, today and, like, some, some of the structures are kind of, like, I would say, uh, like, not really what you'd expect. But, like, we were just doing what we felt was right. And, um, yeah, it's definitely about the, the, the attitude, the feeling. Do you have an opinion as an outsider? Yeah, I 100% agree that it's, like, it just pissed off teenage girls mm -hmm. i mean it sounds raw it sounds powerful it's just like and we could all connect with it in some way like you know fuck everything yeah. <laughs> like, we were all that that age at some point and felt that like you angst i guess yeah it's, it's it's magical i don't know it just it was just a really a really special uh time and place that was captured and it's fucking cool Closing out statements, uh, your thoughts on Sick New World as a whole, as an experience for music fans and musicians alike? Well, it's a little hot, so I feel like oh, probably for the hydration factor, not great. However, I feel like for the music factor, 10 out of 10, everybody seems to be having a fantastic time and enjoying themselves, bands and fans alike. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased. I rate Sick New World 10 out of 10. I don't know why we had to make this into a Zagat's gun. <laughs> I agree. Um, yeah, no, it was a great, it was a great day. It was fucking hot. All the bands are great. Like, it's, like, proof that, you know, this genre is, has staying power and also has a lot of amazing, talented bands in it. Like, tons of fucking great bands for today, so. Ted. Ted. Yeah, Ted, Ted, Ted. Noise from the Pit signing off. Thank you, Kitty. Uh, great set, by the way. Thank you. And uh, awesome guitar solo. Uh, like, I don't think I've ever seen Kitty do a guitar solo before, so oh. to see that, yeah, yeah, that was sick. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.